Hello and welcome to the New Parent Podcast. My name is Dominic McKenzie and I'm the, the head teacher of the school. And I'm genuinely excited about uh, September and having the opportunity to have your sons and daughters join us at uh, Formby High School. Now I know that a lot of you will already be parents of students who are in school or have made their way through Formby High School over the last few years. And uh, it's a, a warm welcome to you, but a, a particularly warm welcome to those of you who are new to Formby High School. And um, I'd like to say how great it is to have you joining our community. And it is a genuinely strong community. And one of the things I believe in really firmly is the partnership that develops between school and between students and their parents. And we'll do our very best to, to nurture that over the course of the, the coming years. In what I'm hoping is going to be a really exciting five or seven year journey through to GCSEs. And for many, it will be then going on to take A-levels or level three vocational qualifications with a view to going on to university or the world of work. So this is very much the beginning of what is a, a, an exciting journey ahead of, uh, ahead of all concerned. Uh, the, the arrangements for um, transition this year have been quite different. Uh, I hope the communication that we've sent home has been helpful to you and your children. And I know that Mr Cook and Mrs Eady have had the opportunity to deliver virtual transition sessions via Microsoft Teams and to, to meet the, uh, the children who will be joining us from the, the different primary schools. Hopefully you'll be starting to get a bit of a feel for what life is like at Formby High. Uh, the information that we've, we've sent home and we've posted on the, the school website uh, should be really helpful and I particularly draw your attention to the uh, Parents Handbook which contains a wealth of, of helpful stuff about all sorts of um, areas of school life, about the, the settling in process and about what life is like for a, a child in year seven. And I'll be really honest with you, um, school in September is going to look quite different. Um, I think every school across the country is going to look uh, quite different because of the situation we find ourselves in and because of the need to follow the Department for Education's guidance to ensure that everybody who's on start site stays as safe as possible. Um, and I want to be honest and upfront with you that uh, it is going to be quite different. Um, year seven will be based primarily within a bubble. The bubble will be the sit form centre, which is the buildings on the right hand side of the campus um, as you pass through the, the gate. Most of the lessons will take place within the bubble and the teachers will uh, come into the bubble to teach them English, math, science, history, geography, whichever subject it may be. And lessons will have to be delivered in quite a different way. But what I can promise you is we are not watering down the curriculum. We're not reducing the number of subjects that students will study. Uh, we are not just focusing on English and maths. We're committed to retaining a, a broad, a really balanced and an exciting curriculum. And one of the challenges that our, our teachers are wrestling with at the moment is how they can ensure the curriculum remains exciting uh, with lessons being taught uh, within the bubble. So uh, I want you to, to be rest assured that um, the curriculum experience your child will have shouldn't be compromised by the, the situation we find ourselves in at the moment. Now, as, as I said earlier, the, one of the most important things to us is uh, building the, the relationship with families and working in partnership from the outset. And I feel particularly proud of the level of pastoral care which as a school we're able to provide. Uh, Mrs Eady will be your first point of contact as Climate for Learning leader for Year 7 and your child has already found out which tutor group he or she is going into and who his or her form tutor is going to be. And that person will also provide a really helpful point of contact. But working to support the, 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 the form tutors and Mrs Eady is our, our team of um, pastoral support staff and they are great. They're really proactive and if you have any concerns, 
I would just say to you, don't hesitate to contact school, to pick up the phone, to send an email, and we'll do what we can to, to resolve it. And let's let's deal with things when they're small issues before they have the opportunity to grow into you know, into much bigger issues, which then impact on, on what's taking place in the, the classroom. And, you know, without a doubt, there will be bumps in the road along the way. That's, that's part of life. That's part of, of growing up. There'll be friendship fallouts. There'll be um, the odd concern about attendance. There might be one or two behaviour issues that need to be dealt with. And that's just all part of the process of, of, of adolescence. Um, we're quite happy to deal with those sorts of things. And what we'd say is, um, if we have a concern, we'll come to you. If you have a concern, please come to us. And let's, uh, let's work together. Let's support one another um, for the very best interests of the, the children who'll be joining Year 7. So to wrap things up, as I said, things uh, will be different. Uh, but we're really looking forward to having your children joining us in the new school year. Uh, the expectation is that um, all 186 students in the, the year group will be in from day one. We'll shortly be writing to you to explain what the start of term arrangements are going to look like. As part of our planning, we intend to give our new year seven lots of opportunity in that first few days to get to know the school before lessons begin properly. We also want to do lots of work with them around restoration and, and recovery and supporting them in reintegrating into school. We're aware that there's going to be lots of work to be done to, to, to support them in integrating, not just into Formby High, but integrating back into, you know, in, into education and back into their schooling. And we've got good plans in terms of how we'll, uh, we'll, we'll deliver that. Um, also really look forward to, to meeting you. Um, at some point, the situation we find ourselves in will come to an end. Not sure when it's going to be, but certainly when it does, we'll look forward to inviting you into to school, to giving you a, a, a proper welcome and yeah, getting to know you on a face-to-face -face basis. But in the meantime, thank you ever so much for, um, for your forbearance with, with how, we've, uh, how we've done things over the course of the last couple of months. Um, I really hope you enjoy your summer break. I hope you find the opportunity to have a rest and I'd also encourage you to make sure your, your children get a really good break over the, the six weeks summer holiday period. Because when they come back in September, it is going to be all systems go. They will get, uh, get tired and uh, you know, we need them firing on all cylinders. So enjoy the summer break and look forward to seeing everybody in September. Thank you. Mrs Edie and I am the Climate for Learning Leader responsible for Year 7 at Formby High, otherwise known as a Head of Year. Um, I've spent quite a lot of time talking to your primary teachers and some of your parents to get, you, to get to know you before you've even started and we've used that information to put you into your tutor groups. Your primary teachers will know which tutor groups you are going to be in. Um, and you can see them there. So 7F, you will have Miss Atherton and she teaches science. 7O, your form tutor will be Miss Rimmer who teaches business studies. If you're in 7R, then you'll have Miss Palmer who teaches maths. 7M has Mrs. Melia who teaches PE and Miss Topping also teaches PE and she will have 7B. 7Y, your form tutor will be Mr. Allen who teaches computing. And if you're in 7H, you'll have Mrs. McDonne who teaches geography. This group of people I'm sure you've seen around school if you've come to our open days or they'll have come to visit your school. So Mr. Mackenzie at the top, our head teacher. Underneath we've got Mrs. Blanchard, who's our deputy head. She's responsible for keeping us all safe in school. And no doubt she'll talk to you about that in assemblies. Uh, Mr Cook, who's responsible for teaching and learning, so all the things that go on in the classroom to try and help with your education. Mrs Parkinson, who deals with exams and reports and data. Then we have Mr Slater, who's responsible for uh, keeping an eye on our progress and making sure we're all making the progress we should and does the timetable. And then Mrs Wake, who helps those students who might need a little bit of extra support. This group of people don't teach, 
Their sole job in school is to help you and me. They will listen to you if whatever you're worried about. It might be something small like you've forgotten your PE kit or you've lost your key. It might be something a bit more serious like the dog's died and you're really upset. But you can go to them before school, after school, in between lessons and they will try and help you the best that they can. At Formby High we have a motto, determined to achieve. And it can be summed up by those three things you can see on the screen. Doing your very, very best at all times. I will never ask anything more than if you've tried your best. If that's the best work that you can do, great. If that's the best drawing you can do, fantastic. Also, we like you to try out new things. So very early on in the term, we have an extracurricular activity session and you can go along and find out all the things we offer. And I encourage everybody to get involved in something, at least one new thing. And then a big theme for us at Formby High is resilience. And what does that mean? That means not giving up. Keep going even when it's a little bit difficult. Keep trying and achieve the very best that you can at things. So Mr Mackenzie breaks this down into three areas. Working hard, respecting yourself and respecting others. So working hard is about what we've said. It's about trying your best and it's about thinking about how your behaviour and actions might influence those others, making sure you meet your deadlines and follow the school rules. Respecting yourself. If you've tried your best and if you're presenting yourself the way you should, then you should be proud of yourself. You should respect yourself. So make sure that you come to school looking the part, looking like you're proud to be part of Formby High School. And then respecting others. So not just staff, but other students as well. Making sure that you're always polite, making sure that you open doors, you say please and thank you, you put your hand up if you've got something to ask. And that extends out into the local community as well. In Formby, we have a very good reputation. We're very proud of our students. And when you go out into the village, you have to remember that you are representing us and we want you to do the very, very best job of that that you can do. Hello everybody, I'm Mr Cook, Senior Assistant Head Teacher. In my part of our podcast, I'm going to take you on a whistle-stop tour of some of the arrangements and information needed for September, all to make sure we have a calm, happy and not-so-hair-raising start to life at Formby High School. OK, so let's start with communications. You will already have received lots of documentation from us way back in March as part of your welcome pack. And we're really grateful to everyone for returning those to us so promptly. In September, you'll receive communications from our school caterers about school meals and allergies. And you'll also be able to register for parent mail and parent pay when communications are sent out at the end of August and the first week of term. For those who haven't yet accessed our parent handbook, you need to go to our school website, click on the link on the home page for new starters, and you can find the document that Mr Mackenzie referenced earlier on in the presentation. Moving on to school uniform. Full details of our school uniform expectations can be found on the school website, but we cannot underestimate the need to put your child's name on everything, including their PE kit. We also draw your attention to our expectations about school shoes, which should be smart, polishable, black leather, logo free and no sport shoes. For information, we have two approved stockists for uniforms who are operating on an appointment only system at the moment. With school looking and operating a little differently in September, it's really important that everyone is organised and prepared for school. We're going to expect students to be fully equipped with our school equipment list to ensure that no sharing is required within lessons. We'll be asking form tutors to check in the mornings that all students are fully equipped and ready to go. School lunches will continue to be served from our dining hall complex. From September, we'll offer staggered lunch sittings within two dining spaces. Our cashless system will continue. Students will register for biometric thumbprints or PIN numbers in September and parents will be able to top up their accounts online. 
Students can bring their own break time snacks and as ever, parents will be able to see from their accounts online what the students are purchasing each day. For the last few years, we've requested a parental contribution towards a number of key items which will support students' learning and activities across the school. The FHS Premium includes our class chart subscription for five years, a locker key, library membership, resources for year seven and eight design thinking lessons, and a form behind school water bottle. This parent pay contribution can be made from September. The new term for year seven will start on Wednesday, the 2nd of September. Following arrival at 10.15 at the Freshfield Road gate, students will assemble on the front field. They'll then be escorted into the sixth form centre by their form tutors for a morning of orientation activities. This will include time for icebreakers and getting to know your sessions with the tutors, establishing hand washing and hand sanitising routines, a trip to the canteen to get their biometric setup completed and to have school photos taken for our SIM system. Lunch will be at 12 o'clock and students will depart school at 12.45. This will be repeated on Thursday the 3rd of September from 10 a.m. From Friday the 4th of September, our normal timetable will start. Students in Year 7 will be expected to arrive for 8.55 for tutor period and we'll still have our five lesson school timetable day. Lunch will take place within the middle of period four. Establishing routines and expectations for homework are really important to making sure year seven get off to a flying start at form behind. We ask teachers to make sure that homework is meaningful and engaging and can be one of many different sorts of activities from extension work, from reinforcement work to independent learning, special projects, individual practice for practical activities and even revision for tests and exams. For students who want to complete their homework in school, we have two opportunities, one at each end of the school day in 05. Early Bird Club and Study Plus Homework Club allow students access to ICT suites and a quiet space to carry out their work. Class Charts is a fantastic digital platform accessible by students and parents on tablets, on phones and computers. It allows you to see the due date, the resources, the web links and any other materials needed to complete a task. Students can also upload work using the app for feedback by teachers. There's also a really useful announcements and messaging section for students and teachers too. At Formby High School, we're really proud of our extracurricular provision. But as Mr McKenzie said earlier on in the podcast, things might be a little bit different in September. It will take us a bit of time to get practical, physical activities back up and running, which are likely to commence from October. However, Early Bird Club, Homework Club, our pop-up library and some elements of our catch-up programme will be available out of school hours. Full details will appear on our school website. Over the summer, we are going to be working really hard with our partners at the Sky Music Hub and our independent peripatetic staff to ensure we can safely restart our weekly instrumental and vocal tuition programme. If you already play a musical instrument from primary school or want to start from scratch, full details can be found on our school website. Our music staff will also be emailing a brochure to you over the summer or you can contact us via creativearts at formbehighschool.com. OK, it's time for me to take a break now and I'm now going to hand over to Mrs Blanchard for the next part of our podcast. Mrs Blanchard, Deputy Head Teacher in charge of pastoral care. Wellbeing is at the heart of everything we do at Formby High School and even though we're finding ourselves in a really unusual position in September, we're still able to maintain an effective and highly supportive pastoral support system for students. The pastoral support will be based in the Year 7 bubble. Mrs Ed alongside Mrs Baker will be ensuring that your sons and daughters receive all the support they need to settle in at Formby High School quickly. 
There may be times when you require additional support from the safeguarding team. If this is the case, please contact Mrs Edie or myself at school. As your sons and daughters get older, it becomes increasingly important to make sure that they are safe online. As teenagers, there are lots of attractions to using all different sorts of social media. This often can cause issues within school and outside of school. What we would ask is that if you have any concerns regarding cyber safety, that you speak with school and allow us to support you to work through the problems. We recognise that the extended absence from school during Year 6 will have had an impact on your sons and daughters and we've put together a programme to support their recovery as they return to school fully in September. We call this programme Restore. This is designed to provide a package of support for your sons and daughters to ensure that they recover quickly and can thrive within Formby High School. Thanks very much Mrs Blanchard. It's now down to me to wrap things up with a few final bits of information. Our summer school starts on Monday the 17th of August and is a five day programme of theme activities delivered by some fantastic Formby High School staff. If you've already booked on using our Eventbrite system, you'll receive a confirmation email this week with details of each day and the activities involved. You'll also be able to log onto the school website and see details of our risk assessment and other important information. And finally, keeping in touch over the summer holidays. Our website will continue to be updated with news and information about our reopening for September. And our Twitter feed will continue to be busy and active over the summer holidays with news, projects and activities to keep people busy. Thank you very much for listening to our first ever New Parent podcast. We hope you found it informative and interesting. Please get in touch if you have any concerns or any questions about our start in September. Thank you ever so much. Have a lovely summer and we'll see you soon. Bye.